Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and yes, I did cut my bangs again, and yes, it was a mistake. Will I do it again? Most likely. But anyways, today I want to talk about boyfriends. More specifically, your best friend's boyfriend. More specifically, who you don't like. For the most part, I'm the type of person where it's like, if you're happy, then that's mainly all that matters. However, it's a free country, so I can recognize that you're happy, but I can also think that that person is a questionable creature. It's kind of like the people who spend their lives researching Bigfoot, you know? It's like, if this is giving you fulfillment, then that's great, but at the end of the day, you're spending a lot of time and energy on a hairy creature that doesn't text you back. The point is, I cherish my friends. I cherish their time and their feelings, and I want to make sure that a person is not going to, you know, hurt their feelings or waste their energy. Because if they do, there will be consequences. Basically, just roasting you in the group chat. But I think a lot of people are like me. I mean, who wants to see other people, especially people you care about, you know, getting their feelings hurt? I think a lot of people would go to great lengths to make sure that their friends don't get hurt. This place is nice. Yeah. It kind of looks like a basement though, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Hello, and how are you guys doing today? Do you need more time to look at the menu? Emily? No, 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 my name is Derek. I'll be your waiter today. Okay, Derek, what are you doing here? Well, I'm employed here, so when you work at a place, you have to show up there. Uh, do you guys know each other? No, no, I have never met this girl before, uh, but she's very pretty, isn't she? You know, like, the kind of girl you want to take home to mom or something, not a hump and dump type of girl, you know? One that should be treated with respect, right? Um... Yes? Derek, I, I think we need some more time to look at the menu. Oh, well, I can actually help you guys out because I know the menu very well because I work here. No, no. Sure, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, God. All right, well, let's see. Uh, are you the type of guy that likes to try everything on the menu or do you commit to one thing because you like it so much? Uh, you know, I really like to try out all my options on the menu. I don't really like to commit to one thing. Hmm. So you're a man whore, that's interesting. Sorry, what? Okay, I appreciate your help, but uh, you know, I think we can look at the menu on our own. You know, since we're both literate. Oh no, it's fine, I don't mind helping. Uh, so are we feeling appetizers? Have you ever cheated on anyone before? What did you say? Oh, I was just wondering if you guys wanted any appetizers. You know, our fried zucchini is to die for. Also, do you have any STDs? Um, excuse me, Derek. I don't think that's an appropriate thing to ask. Don't you want to know? Okay, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm feeling kind of weird right now. Uh, could we just get like ice water or something? Is it chlamydia? You have chlamydia, don't you? Well, no, I don't have chlamydia! Okay, I see, you don't have chlamydia. Gonorrhea is still on the table. How is your relationship with your mother? Okay, I think we might just go to a different restaurant. Approximately how often do you shower? Why are you asking me these weird questions? I just want some ice water! I'm just asking, like, do you take care of yourself? Because if you don't take care of yourself, how are you supposed to take care of a relationship? Derek, I really don't think it's your place to be asking about my date's personal hygiene. Well, you're the one who's gonna have to deal with the B.O., so... Actually, I won't have to deal with his B.O. because he'll be using native deodorant. What? Wow, I'm intrigued! Please tell me more! Native provides natural deodorant that is aluminum, paraben, and sulfate-free and actually deals with body odor instead of just blocking sweat with chemicals like conventional deodorant. Am I supposed to know what's going on? Or... Native deodorant provides a non-sticky texture and dries super fast so it's great for when you're on the go. Is this a commercial or...? Jake, please, we'll let you know when you're needed. Native deodorant gives natural scents that last all day, even after exercise. They use familiar ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter and are vegan and cruelty-free. Native offers a wide range of scents. There are so many to choose from, so you can be sure to find one for you. The scents I chose were coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, and eucalyptus and mint. My favorite is eucalyptus and mint because to me it smells the freshest and I like minty stuff. Jake, I'm sure you would love to try some of these deodorants, right? Um. Yeah, yes. Amazing! Put it on! What, like right now? Yes. I mean, my armpits might be hairy. That's okay, we shave them for you. What? When? Why are you asking so many questions, Jake? It's for the thing, just put it on. Oh my god, my armpit is shaved! Why are you acting surprised? I just said we shaved them for you. 
way that's actually really nice. There you have it. Native offers free shipping to the US, the UK, Canada, Australia, Brazil, France, and Germany. Three deodorants are usually $36, but if you use my link bit.ly slash native Emily and my code Emily, you'll get them for $24. That's 33% off plus free shipping. Wow, sounds like a deal to me. Okay, I'm gonna go now. What? We haven't even eaten. We haven't even finished our date. Yeah, I know. This wasn't a date. She was just helping me with my thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ugh. <laughs> well, you can go home now. Are you serious? I mean, my name's not even Derek. It's not even Emily. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in my friend group, everyone's personalities are slightly dynamic. Like when dealing with not liking a best friend's boyfriend, we all have different reactions and ways we express ourselves. There are gonna be the friends who are super blunt and give tough love, and then there are gonna be the friends who are, you know, trying to be honest, but not too honest. And then, you know, there are the friends who will support that person no matter what they do. I feel like every time someone in the friend group starts talking to someone seriously, it can add some some drama or spice into the friend group. Especially when everyone has all these different personalities. It's like the situation of not liking your best friend's boyfriend and then all of the dynamic reactions and drama that comes with that. It's pretty entertaining. Hello and welcome to America's favorite game show. Is he good enough for her? Probably not. Today we have Tara with us who just introduced her new beau to her best friends at home. Hi, I'm Tara. I've been talking to a guy for a few months now, and we just made things official. My friends have met him a couple of times, so I'm just wondering what they think of him. Well, you've come to the right show. Now let's take a look at our contestants today. We have Emma, Nancy, and Natasha. Tara, are you ready for the first question? Yes, I am. Okay, here's question number one. What is the noise you guys collectively made when I walked into the party with my boyfriend last week? A. Ooh. B. Uh, or C. Ugh. It was B. Uh, and ding, 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 that's correct. I, uh, I didn't know that your guys' reaction was uh, when, uh, when seeing my boyfriend. I mean, that, that was before we got to know him. Yeah, I mean, now it's more of an ugh. What? I said what I said. All right, I'm checking my watch, and it looks like it's time for our next segment. Who said that? Now, Tara, you're gonna read each of the statements on that card and match them to your friends. Okay, um, when asked, do you like Tara's boyfriend, the following answers were given. A, if she's happy, then I'm happy. If she likes him, then I like him. B, I don't think I've gotten to know him well enough to say if I like him or not. I was kind of turned off when he made that 9-11 joke at dinner. And C, I hate him. I'll give you a clue, I'm the one who hates him. Well, that wasn't really a clue. You kinda just gave her the answer. Why do you hate him? Because you're out of his league and he has nothing to offer you besides free dinner. Natasha, we're on television. I know, I hope you're watching this, Nick. For the record, I'll support you no matter what. I mean, you could do cocaine off of a gas station toilet seat and I'd still be cheering you on. Thank you. Okay, let's move on, please. Uh, Tara, go on and read the next question. Okay, um, which of these describes my type? A. Preppy boys who wear Sperry's and Vineyard Vines. B. Skater boys who look like they're a breath away from death. Or C. Fisherman f boys who don't necessarily watch NASCAR but give off the aura that they do. C. 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 What? Girl, I'm sorry, but all of the guys you date look like they would start balding by the age of 32. 27, even. No comment. Okay, I don't know why you guys are so quick to judge, alright? You don't know him like I do. He's actually very sweet. I hate to keep bringing this up, but he did make that 9-11 joke. That was one time! I would argue that's still too many. You know these guys are gonna hurt you in the end. Okay, I think it's time for the next question. I think it's time for you to shove it up your <laughs> Natasha, this is a family program. I think what Natasha is trying to say You're is- You're making bad choices. You date questionable creatures. You don't even use protection. Ooh. Um, we are on live TV in case y'all forgot. Who are you, my mom? I hope you get pregnant, so it will teach you a lesson. And I just got word that we're cutting to commercial, and I will not see you after the break because our network just told me that uh, we're canceling the show after the disaster that occurred just now, so. Now, judging people off of their social media is not something that I condone. However, we all do it. My friends and I have definitely looked at the Instagram pages of all the different people we're talking to in order to get a sense of who they are. Now, to say that I didn't like my friend's boyfriend slash almost boyfriend solely based off of their social media would not be a correct statement because, I mean, I don't really think that you can fully judge a person just based off of their social media. However, you can get an idea. 
and my ideas usually come true down the line. So social media can be a tool to gauge how a person might be in real life, and you can maybe make some judgments as to whether you think this person would be good for your friend or not. And with that being said, once the girls and I get a hold of his Instagram handle, it becomes a full-fledged investigation. So what's the report? Troy Silverman, he's been snapping Gabby for about six months now, and they have been seriously talking for around four. They've been hanging out pretty often, but they haven't defined their relationship yet. All right, we've obtained his Instagram handle from the group chat, so now it's time to get our intel. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's dive in. His user is tboneTroy420. That's kind of already a red flag. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not loving that name. Oh no. His first post with the cool story, babe, now make me a sandwich t-shirt. I was actually looking at all the fishing pictures. I mean, you'd think one photo holding up a fish would be enough to get the point across. Why do you need six? You know, I don't even care about the fish photos. It's fine that he likes to fish. It's the fact that they all have hashtag sexy fish boy Sunday in the caption. And this one was posted on a Tuesday, so just like... What? That doesn't even make sense. Here's a video of him in the mirror, vaping shirtless. And he's not even doing tricks or anything. He just looks like the humidifier my dad has in his room for his allergies. Yeah, it's like if you're gonna give yourself lung disease, at least look cool while you're doing it. Well, it looks like he only has 10 pictures and six of them were fish boy posts, so maybe we should just move on to the next level of the investigation. Yes, commencing the search into his tagged in three, two, one. Oh no. Is that? Yes, that's a photo of him and his frat brothers wearing men in his t-shirts. And it's from? Three weeks ago, yeah. We should text her, right? We should say something. It's our civic duty. Yeah. And you know, even if you don't like your best friend's boyfriend or girlfriend or they friend, whatever, you know, it might be hard for them to completely understand where you're coming from. Because let me tell you, when you have those rose-colored glasses on, it's not, nothing will compute. It's not gonna get through. You might be in denial about what your friends are saying, or maybe you do accept what your friends are saying, but it doesn't change anything because you like them so much and you keep making, I don't know, excuses for them and yada yada. I understand. But remember that your friends have your best interest in mind. So maybe if you're hearing the same thing over and over again, it might be time to consider their viewpoint. But at the same time, your friends aren't the ones who are in the relationship. And at the end of the day, I mean, Really, you know that person best, um, but you have to think about what's best for you. So my advice to you guys is keeping a balance between, you know, knowing what's best for you and using your own judgment, but also listening to what other people have to say because, you know, they might have a more objective view of the relationship because they're not the one with all the emotions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you hate your best friend's boyfriend or girlfriend and you don't know how to tell them, send them a link, this link and then have them click on it and give me views and money and also come to a realization, hopefully. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and until next time. Wow. I look Italian. I won't have to deal with the B.O. because he'll be using native d I picked up glue. This is glue. All right, let's dive in. His user is big butt lover. <laughs> All right, let's dive in. His user is boobies are us. <laughs>